Hello, today I would like to show you my ultimate guide how to connect two 13-inch Apple Cinema display into Intel-based MacBook with use of a single Thunderbolt cable. First, absolutely do not go with a route of purchasing the genuine Apple adapter that is converting the mini display port into a dual DVI link. I was trying to do a different combination, go from a USB-C into a display port, then converting that display port into a mini display port, but it won't work. Absolutely do not follow that route. There is a one great good streamlined solution that requires just purchasing a one single component. Element that you are looking for is a 3D Club USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C to Dual Link DVI adapter. Extremely important, it must be a DHCP off version. There is a different one that have got exactly the same name, exactly the same look, but it's going to say that it's got a HDCP enable to on and it will not work with your 30 inch Apple Cinema display. So here is the correct model number. Here you can see the barcode. This is how our adapter is presenting. We've got a USB-C plug on one end, dual DVI link on another one. Here we've got another time information that HDCP is off and this is the model number. So we've got two of them because I've got two 13 inch Apple Cinema display. If you've got just one display, then you need, of course, a one adapter. We've got two sets of cable and that's actually what came from your one screen. We've got taped the Firewire and USB cable. You absolutely do not need them to have your display operational. I taped them out so the metal shell is not going to be touching different metal elements because it was causing some sort of a grand loops. Now they are taped, they can be left alone and will not cause you any problem. We are interested in the power cable that looks like this and goes straight to your 150 watt Apple Cinema Display power supply and our dual DVI link. Now we are going to connect our dual DVI link into our adapter. We go like this with the display icon facing upward. Now we are going to make sure that we use our thumb screw. If we've got a loose connection, you are risking of getting some weird artifacts and you definitely don't want to have that. I'm going to repeat the process with the second display. We go like this. We can connect them as is to my MacBook and everything is going to be working just fine, but I don't want to lose two Thunderbolt ports. So I'm going to be using that OWC Thunderbolt hub. As you can see, we've got a three Thunderbolt ports and the one input. So we are going to nicely connect them like this, just like that. I'm going to provide power for my hub so we can recharge our MacBook and make this device functional. We are going to grab a single Thunderbolt cable and I'm going to be using the front port. We go like this. And now with that single cable, I'm going to attach it to my MacBook Pro. And that's everything that we have to do. We just wait a second, we've got the logo and our two screens are going to be detected. Just give it a one moment. I'm going to show you what to do just in case you are going to get a bad resolution. So as you can see, we've got picture of those two screens. Let me log in. Just in case you do not get proper resolution, the only thing you need to do, and you do that once, go to your system settings, into displays, click on the displays that you would like to set, and over there you've got information, show all 
resolutions and small toggle box, you are going to click it. And now from that list, you can click the highest possible resolution. You do that just once and afterward, after turning your computer off, on, it's going to be staying. And as you can see, everything is working fine. I can jump between those two screens and we've got the high resolution. So this is how you do it. As you can see, we are using just a single Thunderbolt port to both charging the Mac and running those two screens. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.